Hello my friends. This video is meant to help anybody that's struggling with getting over larger logs. As the logs get bigger, you're eventually going to need a wheelie. So if you're not consistent and confident with your wheelies, head on over to my wheelie tutorial. Now I'm quickly going to show you how to get away without a wheelie on logs up to a fairly decent size and then we'll get into the bigger stuff. Compressing the suspension prior to hitting the log will make for a much smoother transition. The idea is to compress the suspension right before hitting the log so that you punch into the log on the rebound. If you time this properly, it's going to be a lot less abrupt when you hit the log and it's going to be a smooth crossing. You can get away with this on logs up to about this size but remember, the bigger the log, the more important it is that you get a big compression. With a log this size, now we're gonna be looking at requiring a wheelie. But really, we're only gonna have two things to focus on. So we have our wheelie, we need to focus on getting that front wheel off the ground and simply holding enough momentum to carry over the log. It's easy to look at a log this size and panic thinking you have to do this huge wheelie. But realistically, we only want to hit this log two thirds of the way up with our front tire. So it's not going to require a huge wheelie at all. If you can consistently get your wheel 12 inches off the ground, uh, this is a doable log for you. The biggest thing when you first start going over obstacles this size is going to be the mental side of things. You need to remain confident and you need to stay standing up on the foot pegs throughout the whole procedure. You can't be falling off the back of the bike or sitting down in the process of going over. You have to stay standing up and remain confident. Momentum is gonna be your friend and if you don't have any confidence, you are gonna tend to let off on the throttle too soon. We don't need a lot of throttle in fact, it requires very little, but you need to stay on it long enough to give yourself enough drive and momentum to carry the bike over the log. Let's look at the wheel placement in this clip. This is a big log and you guys will see that it requires a pretty small wheelie. Now I'm making sure to stay consistent on the throttle until that rear wheel carries me over. Guys, you don't want to be gunning it on the throttle when the rear wheel is on the log because you're going to spin. So remember, it's just staying consistent and smooth. Thanks for watching you guys and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for some tutorials on some more advanced techniques, let me know in the comments and I'll get on it.